Now system suitability is quite easy in Chrome Nav. So after we've opened a piece of data, we'll notice in this case that it already has been integrated and the peaks have been named. So at that point, we're ready to create our system suitability test. To do so, we go to our data processing method. And under the process, we select decision peak for good slash no good. We then select our channel, which in this case, we're using channel 1. And then in parameters, we click the dot dot dot. And now we build our custom formula for this decision of whether the system is acceptable or not. In this case, as an example, we'll use the number of theoretical plates for the pyrene peak. So in this case, that value must be greater than 10,000 in order for the system to pass our test. We click OK. Our formula has been entered. And now we simply save this as our system test. Now, of course, if you'd like, in addition to the system test, you could have it print a report, integrate peaks, or do any other kind of export or calculation feature. Now we just need to execute that data processing method by simply clicking Execute, picking our system test, and Execute. And now it has applied that system test, and of course we need to add a column into our peak table so that we can see the results. So if we go to View, Peak Information Items, and if we scroll down, we'll see we have the number of theoretical plates, which is what we're using to base our formula on, as well as the decision. So we add those two, click OK, and what we notice is that indeed, Pyrene has more than 10,000 theoretical plates, and this is, is OK, obviously, as we have passed our test. Again, you can use any formula you like in the data processing method to generate a system suitability test. Now, within a report, of course, in the peak info table section, if you're using the system suitability, you want to add this decision to this table so that you see it on each printout. Otherwise, that concludes the system suitability. Now, in addition to system suitability, Statistical calculations are very easy in Chrome Nav as well, such as getting relative standard deviations, means, averages, and modes. So let's learn how to do that. Let's open the rest of the data set of the pHs. And now we'll see that all the rest of these also have been integrated and named, so we're ready to do the calculation. We do have a star next to our very first chromatogram, so let's go ahead and save that. Now, for the statistical calculation, we simply use the calculator up here. We first need to select our chromatograms to open, which is from the pH set. Now, you will be required to have named and integrated the peaks prior to this calculator working. So, for instance, we'll select the entire data set and our channel 1. So what we get is all of our chromatograms and based on retention time that's been filled in for each we get our standard deviations, our means, our totals if you add them up, and a relative standard deviation. Now of course for retention time this works should we go to area it's not going to work as currently we have different standards so different concentrations of each sample. So thus, of course, our relative standard deviation is going to be very poor. So if we go ahead and remove some of the chromatograms, leaving only the like ones, or the ones that have the same concentration, now we see our relative standard deviation is very good for those two standards. If we'd like to print, we simply go to print, and you can print all which means both the top and the bottom, or you can print result, which would print just the bottom section. If you'd like, you can also send to the Excel format and simply save a copy onto the desktop or wherever you'd like so that you have this statistic calculator at your leisure. Otherwise, that's all there is to statistics calculations. Again, you have a few other data set types that you can analyze for the relative standard deviation as well.